checking account so I could write your first rent check. Then I was passing this store and I thought, wow, I need some warm clothes for Minnesota because it's like 10 degrees out there. And everyone's talking about this wind chill factor. I mean, what is that? It's scaring me. Although not as much as everyone around here wearing ski masks. You see someone in LA wearing a ski mask, you hit the ground. That's why I got the pepper spray. And since the food here is so bland, I've spritzed more than one pasta entree to liven up a meal. So what do you think, Louie? So what are you saying, Gretchen? You can't pay the rent? Oh, I knew you'd understand. And you know I'm good for it. Well, you gotta fix me up with her. I'll pay your rent for you. You've gotta help me with my problem. <laughs> right. Well, a patient came in that kicked gambling, and he threw an unused lotto scratcher in the basket. I scratched it off, and I won $5,000. $5,000? That's fantastic. Hey, your money problems are over. That's what I thought. But then I realized I had told him to throw it out. So what, are you going to give it back to him? I can't do that. He might start gambling again. Hmm. I could give it to a charity, I guess. Uh, could pay some bills. I'm deeply in debt. Yeah, and I got a roof to pay for. Hmm. And I saw this beautiful table made out of twigs. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm not you. Then again, I'd have an extra five thousand dollars, and I'd be living with Gretchen. What the hell are you complaining about? At first, I didn't think I needed help with my gambling problem, but I knew I was in real trouble when I found myself putting sixty-five cents into a vending machine, pushing the button, and screaming, "Come on, Dr. Pepper! Two cans of Dr. Pepper! Come to Mama!" <laughs> Thank you for sharing that with us, Connie. Now, before we hear from another member, I'd just like to take a moment to pass the hat, as we say. Now, if you've got a little extra this week, please give. This is our only source of income, and it's essential for our survival. Hey, does anyone know who won the fifth race at Santa Anita? Genuine ration. All right. Guess I can afford a few bucks. See twig furniture. <laughs> oh my. Look at this. Jackpot! Um someone has made a most generous donation. I'd say this has to be somewhere in the neighborhood of oh five thousand dollars. <laughs> you know. It, it is this kind of generosity, this kind of unselfishness, that really restores your faith in mankind. So who do you think it was? <laughs> Oh man, I should have kept that five grand. I've got a huge heating bill. My credit card is maxed out. And, oh, the Persian rug place is having a going out of business sale. How often does that happen? <laughs> Sandy's coming over here. She said she wanted to stop by. From the sound of her voice, I really think she wants to get back together with me. Great. I know, I know. I've been really hoping this would happen, just not right now. What do you mean? Oh, God, Lou, last night, I, I had an erotic dream about Gretchen. Yeah, oh, that's right. And oh, boy, it was a doozy. Oh, sir, you're overreacting. I mean, I don't know the details of the dream, but I do know that you're a man of limited imagination. <laughs> Lou, you don't know Sandy like I do. She's got this radar. She's gonna take one look at this face and bang, she'll know. I might as well have had an affair. Kurt, shouldn't you be using that cleaning solution in a ventilated area? <laughs> Sandy's gonna be over here any minute. I have got to wipe all thoughts of Gretchen out of my mind. No, Gretchen, no. Hey, guys. Uh. I'm interviewing to be the hostess at the Sons of Norway dining room. I wanted to give myself an edge. Do you think it's too much? 
<laughs> Sandy's here, Kurt. God. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. Sandy! Hey. <laughs> hey, new parka. I like oh, it. Thanks, Louie. Hello, Kurt. I, I thought you might need some things, so I just... Hey! Something's different about you. What, what could be different? Oh, you got a new haircut, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did. I got just a little trim. And, and there's another woman, isn't there? <laughs> Don't try to lie to me, Kurt Sinsick. It's written all over your face. There isn't anyone else, Sandy. They're up or down. Oh, we've got company. Hey, Yahtzee. <laughs> you some homemade cookies, but I see you already have the store-bought kind. Uh, Sandy, wait a minute. Sorry. Mosquito. Mosquito. Uh, Nat. <laughs> Smallmouth bass. Smallmouth bass. Sturgeon. <laughs> These scratchers sure are teaching me a lot about Minnesota. Mallard. Mallard. Mallard, three Mallards, oh. we have a winner! Oh, 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 oh. Hold the phone, hold the phone. A third Mallard? <laughs> it's a decoy. That's it, we have a loser. Okay, one more hundred. Come on, then I can get the tax money back. Who wants to go to the gas station with me? I hate to snow on your parade, Louie, but don't you think you made a big enough fool of yourself for one night? You already owe 1,200, now you just gambled away another three. Oh, come on. Scratchers aren't really gambling. Hi, my name is Louie. Hi, Louie. I have a problem with scratchers. 